Well, the new study um, makes us stand back again and reassess the value of screening mammography. And I'd like to just start by saying that the fact that we, are, we, are, we know of in this country is the mortality from breast cancer in the last 20 years has gone down 30%. And this is about the same time as routine screening became available in this country. So we want to emphasize that mammography saves lives. Screening mammography saves lives. But we also want to say that it's not just the screening mammography. We know the treatment is better today. But there's nobody going to say that it doesn't matter how big the cancer is because the treatment is so good that they can take care of it anyway. This is not so. The numbers we've been using for the value of screening mammography have been a mortality benefit of maybe 25%. This new study suggests it may only be 10% or it may be less. But they do emphasize that the screening mammography does have value. But they're also bringing up another topic, which is the value of really good treatment. They said initially that routine screening for average risk women in their 40s was not cost effective and that women in their 50s should only come every two years. They immediately had an outcry and it was backed down to say that women in their 40s and in their 50s should have a discussion with their doctors and not blindly go for a mammogram but understand the risk and the benefit. Mammography has been studied and restudied for so many years. I mean, 600,000 women at least have been studied in various studies over the years. And it always comes out that mammography saves lives. The debate has always been how much. Is it 25, 20, 10, or less? Um, the fear is that women, and I know personally for, um, from our clinic, women are canceling their mammograms because they say, I just read that I don't need my mammogram in my 40s, or I just read that I only need to come every two years in my 50s. And people are, lo women love an excuse not to have their mammogram. We are very concerned because women are definitely confused. They read the headlines last December. They were all over the place. Every TV, every radio, every newspaper said women do not need screening mammograms in their 40s that the doctors are over-diagnosing and over-treating. But the bottom line is that women should not be complacent. And um, yes, there are mammograms that are false negatives. Yes, there are mammograms that are false positives. But if you know any woman who had her cancer found from a mammogram and has earlier treatment, you have no doubt that the mammography is worth it. But if you want to put a value judgment on how many women have to have a normal mammogram before it's worth finding one cancer, then that's a different discussion. That's a discussion about what society wants to spend to find breast cancer in women.